Okay, welcome to part two. We left off with doing our crease shading. So here's something that you have to think about when you're doing um, an edit on any base. It doesn't matter if it's the original base or somebody else's pose or something. You have to think about where your light source is coming from. Um, if you look at the shading on her body, everything falls on your right side. All the shades do, which means the light's coming in from that direction. So you have to think about how shadows will fall on your clothing <clears throat> once you figure out where your light is coming from. Um, for this one, we will say that they are going to go towards the right like the um, shading on her body. So we're just going to basically create areas of shade on her dress. Um, a lot, you know, different bimbo vases look different and the way you do your shading will sometimes depend on um, what kind of clothing you're making, um, what kind of material you want it to look like, but for the sake of this, this is just basically how you're going to do it. Um, like I said before, studying pictures is the best way to start figuring out um, how shading will look and different materials and stuff like that. And there are always tutorials out there. And the tutorials you use don't have to be made by somebody who is doing um, drawings for Miss Bimbo. You'll be able to find a lot of tutorials out there on <laughs> how to create shading on clothing. And even looking around at the edits of other people on Miss Bimbo, you'll find a lot of people doing different styles, different things, and that's part of the great thing about it is that you can kind of do things your own way. You know? As you can see, I'm just creating basically triangles around the creases. And you want to close them off at the bottom. Um, you want to form actual triangles, like make sure they're completely closed on all sides. So you're going to add a new layer, choose your paint bucket, you're going to fill the new layer with the blackest black. Go back down to your crease shape, use the magic wand, select outside. Now you can see all those little triangles you just made, and that's where your shading is going to be. So go back up to the layer that you filled, edit, cut, and you can go ahead and merge it down. <clears throat> For now, we're going to use a blur on it. So go to blur, Gaussian blur, and you can see now what it, how it looks, you know, a little bit blurred. Um, I usually suggest doing your blurs at a 2 or sometimes a 3. It just depends on how you want it to look. Um, I think I'll go with a 3 on this one. And then always go back down to 100% and look at it while you're adjusting things because you can't always get an accurate picture when you're so close to it. So to get rid of all of this stuff at the bottom, we're going to use the magic wand tool, go down to our dress base, click outside the dress base, click on crease shading, and edit and cut again. See, now you can see it got rid of all of the shading that fell outside of our dress, which we want gone. And now, click on Properties, <coughs> and we're going to change the opacity of it. Um, sometimes you want to lower it. It depends on what colors you're working with, how you want it to look. Um, I'm going to lower it, yeah, let's say around 84. You can always go back and forth, adjusting it however you want to. And then you want to come up and do the same thing with your creases. Um, usually you don't lower them quite as low because you want the crease lines to stand out a little bit. So I'll go with mm, let's 
say around 129. Um, if you don't merge them down, you can always go back and adjust them when you're done until it looks exactly the way you want it to look. Um, we're going to use the white and a new layer, and we're going to call it Highlights. And there are <clears throat> a few different ways you can do it. You can do highlights using the paintbrush. They'll look a little rougher. Um, it just depends on the shape of your dress and what you're looking for. For this, I think I'm just going to use the line tool because it's a little bit easier and a little bit faster. We'll set it at 2. And then you're just going to create lines down your folds. And I'm only going to use the number 2 size for the bigger folds because we're going to blur this layer too and we don't want it to be too big, if that makes sense to you. So now we're going to go back to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. Um, three is okay. And we'll add another layer. Call it small highlights. And we'll use a brush of one for this. And we'll just come in and do the same thing we did with the other one. And just create some highlighted areas. Um, you don't always have to add highlights, but it helps to make your clothing look a little bit more realistic, I think. Um, I didn't always used to use them, and I think they make a huge difference in how your clothing looks. So come in and create these. Do the same thing, effects, blurs, gaussian blur. There you go. And then you'll merge this layer down onto highlights. Now we're going to get rid of excess stuff again, so pick your magic wand, go down to your dress base, click outside, go back to your highlights, and control X or edit cut, whatever, and it gets rid of everything that went outside your dress. Now you can see your skirt, and it looks a little messy. Like I said, this won't be my best edit, but it's going to show you the techniques I use. And you want to lower the opacity of this, too. And now you can see it looks just, you know, a little bit more realistic. And I will stop this here, and then we will pick off, pick up at the next.